Welcome, Soul Fam. You're listening to Let the Sunshine In Podcast. I'm Sarah Beth Sulio, a.k.a. Princess Sunshine, the heart-healing singing shaman and founder of Royal Hummingbird's Sacred Healing Arts. I'm in search of connecting with my soul family. I've been walking my hero's journey for quite some time now, and I'm ready to join forces in a more intentional way to collaborate with those on a similar path to being of service in the highest and best way possible. I'm here to share my experiences, my medicine and wisdom, and to also connect you to some amazing souls I have met along the way. Consider me your biggest cheerleader, your number one fan, because I believe that anything is possible 100% of the time. So let's dream big, shoot past beyond the stars, and bring a new world into being. Why? Because we can. I'm so honored to share this time and space with you because I'm sharing all my love, spreading joy, and shining light on all that is. I hope you enjoy this episode of Let the Sun Shine In. Do you know what time it is? It's shine time. 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 It's shine time, shine time. Come on. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let the Sun Shine In. I'm your host, Sarah Batsulio, a.k.a. Princess Sunshine. Today, I have a very special guest, Miss Unison Francis. She is a very special soul to me because when I first met her, um, I was actually on my journey of actually finding my voice. Mm. Unison was a music teacher at the time. Um, I remember, it's so funny, I actually came to her with the song of... <laughs> I will always love you of all songs. I'm going to be the first song. Do you remember this, Unison? Wow. I didn't remember the song. No, I remembered how you were like, hey, I want I want to find my voice. That's what I remember. Yeah. And of you know? course, I was like, I'm going to do Whitney Houston's I will always love you. And of course, you know how high those notes go. What was I thinking? <laughs> but well, anyway. I think like- was- mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was like, you just never like, hide away from anything. You never say, yeah. what am I thinking? You like go full blast at everything always. You're like, you know, I'm going to go for the biggest, hardest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember just being in the shower and being like, oh, no, no, no. We got to work on that again. <laughs> but anyway, aside from that, the reason I brought Unison on is because I actually have seen her go from one profession as well to another and honestly, like seeing her journey as well, it almost was like, oh, my God, I was there, too. How we had to make a decision like, OK, we're at this crossroads. Do we go for it or do we not? Right. Mm-hmm. And here Unison's going for it. And now every time I see a green screen, I'm like, Unison's on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is. Every time I see that. <laughs> it's like every time I see the things going, I'm like, oh, Unison has something to say. And like, that's how like I know, like she has, she's, she's online now. Like I see her more and more. So like building her brand has been amazing to see. Like we all have come from somewhere. Right. And like, so I just wanted to bring her on because I also want her to kind of talk about her business and her perspective and how she sees it in the, in the way of the heart and soul. So without further ado, Unison, do you know what time it is? I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> so Unison, tell us who you are and what your magic and medicine is and how you help people. Oh, thank you so much. I am so excited to talk to everyone today. And, um, you know, Sarah, you've been, you've just been in this the we've always been around right when I need you I I don't know if anyone else feels this way like now that you have this podcast a lot more people will have that access to you which is really cool but um I I am a mother of two young children I am a wife and I was a music teacher for 22 years and something just happened during the pandemic you know it happened for a lot of people but I just something 
clicked and I had been happy in my job. I really had. I love music, right? And I love teaching kids. But I just felt like maybe I was called to do more. And um, I found myself really deep and low during the pandemic. And so I started clearing things out like a lot of people did, right? Like we had so much time. So we started decluttering and I started decluttering our garage and um, I created a whole nother space for my family to like hang out, do puzzles. Like the boys were riding their bikes around and we would open the garage door and people from the neighborhood would ri- walk by. We made some new like best friends just from that. And I didn't put that together that that was like making me happy. Um, I just thought that I was creating extra space in our home. And then I really started thinking, okay, look, I'm a music teacher and we're teaching virtually. What if this all goes away? What if, you know, music teachers are no longer needed? Uh, What else would I do? And I started really intentionally looking inward, like what makes me happy? And I was thinking about, you know, times in my life when I would sit on my girlfriend's bed, drinking a cup glass of wine and telling her what to throw out and what to wear, what to keep, you know? And, and I was like, how do I turn that feeling into a business? Mm -hmm. And so I got certified as a professional organizer and I really didn't like have a, like a business plan or, but I just knew like, I knew that little nugget. And I know you are so good at this. You take a nugget and you just like follow it. Right. Like, (laughs) right. And I mean, I've watched you, you know, through so many iterations and those nuggets are golden, right? Those, those, those are what follow what we, what we lead with. And then from there, I started listening to, I started riding my bike a lot. And so I was listening to podcasts and one came up, it was like a woman entrepreneur and it was this community of women. And I was like, oh, they're all making money online. They're all, and they talked about building a business from feminine energy. And I had never heard before. Anytime I had heard of building a business, it was man, business, thrust, go and get them, you know? And I had tried that before, you know, and, 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 um, and it just, it was exhausting to me. And I was like, how are these women opening up this feminine energy, inviting currency, inviting money in? just inviting flow and creativity and they're making bank. And I was like, that feels good to me. That just feels good. And so I started exploring more about feminine energy and like who I am. And I, I've just really built my business on that. So I wanted to name my business is called go goddess organizing because I help women shed the physical belongings that are insulating or covering up their inner goddess. And that's the journey that I went through myself. So I started shedding little things like all of the, all of the clothes that I was going to fit into. Mm. I'm like, I am currently the largest I've ever been, but my wardrobe girl, it is. Yes. Because, you know, we get to, we get to be fabulous at any size. It's not that. Oh, one. I'm only going to keep these clothes, you know, until I'm that size. No, we're fabulous at every size. But like helping shed who we should be is the Ooh, biggest yeah. thing go, go Goddess does. There's so many different ways in my house that I started like looking intentionally at things. And so that's what I'd love to talk to your audience today about is like how to get clear on like who they are, shed the stuff that doesn't matter so that they can just really shine, you know? Yes. Wow. So then how do we even start? Tell us, tell us. Well, it's really like, you know, spending some quality, quiet time with yourself. Like, what is that thing that makes you happy? And you don't have to go back to like, oh, I wanted to be a rock star when I was a kid, you know, like, but just like the little things in your life that really do light you up, right? Make you feel like that sunshine. I have this vision. I have this vision and I'm not 100% sure what it means, but I think that it's it's the world. It's the earth. And then there's all of these like just beams of light shining out from the earth, just like, like, the, like the top of the Luxor. Yes. And I think when I interpret it, that's like, that's my goddesses. That's my girls who, who have shed the stuff 
the physical belongings, the, Mm -hmm. you know, the mental, the emotional baggage, right? Emotional baggage and physical baggage. Oh, those are tied, right? And so you've fed all of that. And then you just, you are, you are shining your sunshine out. Now, to me, sometimes I think that it's like this beam of light that people are shining out. But sometimes I think that's your connection to source shining in. Yes. Oh, yes. Ooh, I love that, that, for me, that for me has been huge because, you know, you said you mentioned I'm a musician, right? So I love songwriting. Yes. I have cracked the code on what my muse, what she loves. She loves a clean space mm-hmm. to create right? If I'm sitting at a cluttered desk or a cluttered room or a pile of laundry is there or the bit, my bed is unmade. I'm in my bedroom and I'm looking at it. Oh my God. (laughs) And it's it's so distracting. My muse, she will not visit me. She will not visit me. Mm. And I know that, right? So, okay. So if I'm going to write a song today, it's got to be from a clean environment. I got to create space for my muse. The second thing she wants is a deadline. Oh, oh yeah, deadline, girl. She needs a deadline, so I'm like, all right, by four o'clock today, let's write that song. But you know, those are the things that I know that I need. Everyone is different. So, what does your muse need? What does your inner goddess need? And for me, it's all about creating that space to Definitely. to bring it in. So that's what my connection to source is. And I say, like, when we kick the clutter, we are unclogging that pipeline, that universal pipeline. Yeah. I- Really, really, really believe it. So if you're stuck, like if someone's like, okay, yeah, that's really easy for you to say what you wanted to do. You had a clear vision. I would say if you don't have a clear vision of like what you want to shine out on the world first, then just start, start somewhere easy, like your bathroom, like decluttering, like your cosmetic graveyard or like whatever, like just start shedding the stuff that is expired that doesn't look good on you, that you don't like the way it feels, that makes you break out or like, you know, like get rid of the things that don't serve you as well as you know how. And you're going to start developing a sense. You you start, it's a muscle, the decluttering muscle. You start developing this decluttering muscle, which will lead you to, I mean, when I am buried, self-trust and Mm self-worth. Like I know, like, I know what I like because I like it. I like gigantic earrings that are funky and crazy, but like, that's me, you know, that's not necessarily everyone. And so you just get to uncover, unbury yourself. And if you are stuck emotionally, you know, maybe you're, maybe you are tethered. Maybe you want to bring love in. Maybe Mm -hmm. you want to bring a partner into your life but you're like, I don't know where to start. You know, like before you get on all the newest and greatest sites that I don't even know the name of, um, you know, clean up your house, clean up your house, T- cut those ties to the emotional baggage. I've yeah. had clients shed physical things that were tying them to old relationships and it has opened up doors. Like, so speaking of which, what, okay, so let's just say someone has, you know, an item from a previous relationship that they really don't want to let go of, but that is what the next step is to move forward. How do you get that client to get rid of that? So first thing I do, I never, I'm, I'm only going to ask questions. You know, I'm, I never okay. force anyone to get rid of anything. It's not, mm-hmm. it is not, um, it's not my place to like make that hard decision for you. So I'll tell you a little bit of like an emotional attachment that I had to an item and how I got rid of it. Okay. Let's get it. All right. So last summer, my, I got a package in the mail and it was from my mother. Absolutely love my mother. She is my biggest cheerleader. She's fantastic. And it was this dress that was not my style and a pair of earrings that were even more not my style. And in my head, I was like, oh, I just, I, I honestly rolled my eyes and I was like, mom, like why, you know, and I was going to return them. I was going to return them, you know, like, come on, mom. Mm -hmm. And two weeks later, I unexpectedly lost my mother. She died. Yeah. She left this earthly plane 
And it was heart wrenching, right? Mm -hmm. So we go through grief as a roller coaster. And here's this emotional, this new emotional attachment I have to a dress and a pair of earrings that I don't even like. And it is the last things my mother ever gave me. And I contemplated like, oh my God, how could I ever get rid of this? This is the last thing she gave me. Um, but here's the truth. They were never for me. They were never a version of me that I loved. There is nothing about a physical belonging that should tie us to a person. So my mother, you know, she, she wants me to be happy and she wants to be my, me to be my most authentic self. So like I said, she's my biggest cheerleader. Now she's just my biggest cheerleader with a totally different viewpoint and probably a lot more power than she had before. Right. So right, right. now, you know, I let go of the dress and the earrings to someone else who's actually going to wear them because I have other things that remind me of my mom that are so my style. And, yeah. and that was to me, like, I don't, I don't need that tie. I hope, I hope that's kind of what you were talking about. Yeah, it, no, like, exactly. Because I mean, in shamanic world, we talk about the principle of unattachment, right? And so, yeah. the, you know, being able to practice unattachment also kind of lightens up the load. You know what I mean? Because we're not tied to a certain thing. Like we're able to free ourselves if we're not so attached to the one thing right like you said you could you know you have different representations of your mother not just through this you know dress and earrings but through other things so being able to connect in other ways is another tool to be able to you know move forward and things so yeah that's a I mean I love that story about how because sometimes things aren't always meant for us they're meant for us to pass on right mm. and so and, you know, and that's another thing, like sometimes, you know, I've been, I was given this, like, there was this one crystal that, you know, that I had, and I'm like, I know I'm supposed to be holding this for someone. I just, I don't know who it's for right now, you know, so I'll just hold on to it. And then, you know, months go down the road, and then I have this client, perfect person to give it to, you know, and sometimes, like you said, sometimes what you were given is not always meant for you. It's meant for someone else who comes along your path. And knowing that sometimes it's almost like at some point that's so like I know I need to hold on to this I can't get rid of it you know and having that intuition about that certain object too is, is a key to being able to share whatever it is right like being able to share that medicine that's tied to that object so for me I think of everything as energetic and like like you said how you're in your space also clears up your life in a sense, right? And it opens you up to being able to receive more things because your space isn't so cluttered and filled with other things that won't allow things to come in, you know? And I just I love that whole aspect of how once you declutter, you can also open, expand your being, not just your physical, but like spiritually, emotionally as well. You know, I, yeah. I love it. It's all connected. It's all connected. And I think that physically you said you said one thing that i just want to touch on real quick about how you knew you had to help hold on to something for someone else but what happens in that moment is also just like you know it's flow flow yes. is where it's at, right because everything yes. in our lives everything in our lives should be in a state of flow i 100%. think like the the things we hold on to the tightest that's that's not going to work you know like that's 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 too much so so knowing like ooh something that i love for now, but also just because I love it now doesn't mean I'm going to not pass it on later or let it go. Right. Um, so yeah, just being in the flow opens us up to abundance. Like I say, my mantra is like, I am an abundance magnet. I'm an abundance magnet, which sounds so crazy for a decluttering uh, coach. <laughs> okay. but, the, but the thing is, I bring in everything and what I'm working on is my filter. What stays with me and what what continues to flow? Right. Abundance yes. magnet. And then, oh, this shiny little object, that's going to stay with me. And everything else keeps flowing. So, you know, right. working on that decluttering muscle, that clarity of who am I? Who am I here to be? 
And what is my message that I'm going to share with the world? And then letting other things go that don't don't fit Better. into that that bag. Right. So I I have a um I have a a a, a little gift for your audience too if you yes. like it. I'm going to talk about it right now because it kind of fits with this. But if you're right. stuck in that second part of like, what do I get rid of? Um, there is, I have a list of 60 things that you can get rid of in your house and they're assigned to three different energies. So if you find mm -hmm. yourself, if you find yourself in an emotional place that you're, you know, you want to move on from, um, I have a list of like, yeah, I don't know, 60 divided by three. Okay. Yeah. 20, 20 things. Right. I can do math. Yeah. Uh, I've got 20 <laughs> things to get rid of to help you energetically move that emotional energy in your home. If you find yourself in a creative slump or a money slump, like what can you get rid of in your home that would um, help you w regain your mental energy and then um, physical energy? If like your space, if you have a space where you have to move something to get to something else, you know, like what kind of physical energy are we creating in the flow here? Or if you have like kitchen drawers that every time you open them, you give yourself whiplash. That's <laughs> physical, right? So, um, yes. so I have a list of, of things that I just want to, I just want to gift to your, um, your audience here today that they can just you know, look at those yes. and kind of decide where they're stuck and, and get it going. But yeah. And then, yes, please follow me. I want to be my friend. I love, I love friends. <laughs> yes, we love friends. And you know, like I said, you just saying you have been such an inspiration in my life as well. Like I said, finding my voice is one of those things that I have been working um, on these last few years. And, you know, starting this podcast is one of those ways where I'm sharing this medicine. And I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of my journey and being a guest on my podcast where I'm actually exercising and using my voice. You know, I'm sitting here. You know, before we started this podcast, you saw me like breathe a few times because I still am getting, you know, the butterflies and whatnot. And, ah, you know, we all have to start somewhere. And, you know, like I said, my message is about, you know, telling people like no matter what your goals are, always connect to the heart because it's your heart that's your compass. It's the heart that knows where you want to go, right? And so, like, I just want to be that, you know, message of, Never give up on yourself. Never give up on your heart. Like, no matter what the outside's telling you, no matter what your friends, family, you know, Facebook friends, Instagram followers, whatever, like, who cares what they think? You know, it's all about you following your heart because once you do that, everything else is like second to none, right? Like, when you come in with your heart and you serve, like, everything, all the abundance is going to come to you. And, you know, again, it's just all about following the heart. And, I commend you for following your heart and starting your business and showing up as the goddess that you are today and helping us goddesses who need your help, you know, who need to learn how to declutter and organize so we can open and expand our minds and heart and open, you know, to more joy in our lives. So thank you so much, Unison, for being here. Like, honestly, I, I am so grateful for you. And again, thank you. And oh. um, Yay. And I know there is some, so there is a section for um, a part of my podcast where we call it's dream time. So how can we support you in your business? How can my listeners connect with you, help you in your journey? What would you like to ask of our, of our audience today? Uh, I would, I would, I would love you to help me with my vision of that you know, and interpret it however you want, but like that world where we are so connected to our source that it is either a beam going out or a beam coming back. So I would love just every woman. I, you know, I work with women because clutter affects women differently than it does men. So I am focused on helping women. So that's who I'm talking to today and, you know, helping women shed Let's start today by shedding some shoulds, you know, Ooh, if you know, yes. with me, like if you find yourself saying, oh, I should blah, blah, blah. Let's just let that go today. And that yes. would, no, I feel like that would do that vision for me. Um, and then, yeah, be my friend. Come hang out with me. Come say hi. Uh, message me on Facebook. I, I hang out on Facebook a lot. So 
come hang Thank with you. me on Facebook and, and send me a message and say, hey, I saw you on uh, Sarah's podcast, the Princess Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be great. But one, can I say one more thing before uh, I'm letting? Yeah. Okay, okay. I just wanted to say, you know, letting go of things. Um, you'd mentioned this before can be hard, but oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's really seeing what's on the other side of letting go that is worth it. And, um, sometimes we need help in letting go. And I, you know, I let go of a 22 year career as a, as a teacher, we're talking, you know, summers off pensions, like, you know, all of, all of the stuff that is a big safety net. And, when I let it go, I thought, oh, I've been building my business. I'm just going to like pick right up. And my whole body shut down, you know, and wow. yep. whole, our bodies now. My whole body was like my back, everything. And um, this is not a story that I share very often because I don't want people to see this version of that I was un, unable to do what I wanted to do. So I had to seek help and I came to, you know, my singing shaman here. And it was all fear-based. It was so fear-based, but letting go of something. Oh my God. It's just, it's been such a crazy journey. And so seeking, seeking the advice of other people outside of your, of your home and outside of your own perfection, you know, like has been huge for me. Um, and the singing shaman, you've really, you really helped me. So just thank you for that too. Of course, of course. And, you know, it's almost like, ah, like you said, it's like, and, and this, I'm learning this too, because, you know, I thought, oh, I'm going to run my business all on my own. I don't need help. But you know what? The truth of the matter is we all need help. You know, we all, we all are always going to try to find the best versions of ourselves. Like to seek help is not a bad thing. Right. And you know, people are out there who are willing to help and mentor and give advice. Honestly, for me and what I've learned from all my other mentors, you just have to ask, right? Just ask. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say is like, at the end of the day, all you can do is ask. It doesn't matter, you know, what the outcome is. As long as you ask, then you'll know what your answer is, right? So never go without asking because you'll never know, right? So always ask asking for help is not a bad thing yeah that's you using your voice girl yeah <laughs> yes exactly you're absolutely right and, and what's so funny and last thing last thing i promise you guys is that is a one lesson that i'm learning real hard right now is learning how to ask i have gone throughout my whole i'm going to start tying my whole business because I've been disappointed with the times that I have asked, and it was because I wasn't clear, right, on how to ask. And now as I'm going and through this journey and process, I'm learning how to use my words, how to use my voice, how to ask concisely, you know. So learning how to ask and not be afraid of it is one of my biggest lessons right now. And even asking you was kind of scary. I was like, oh. I know she'll say yes, but like just the fact that I had to go out and actually go out there and actually ask, <laughs> that was the scary part for me. And it still is. So you guys, I'm, I'm human, you know, get your self care, get cleared out, declutter, open yourself up to opportunities and more joy. Do so with Miss Unison. Go, go, goddess. Organize. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Of course. Well, you have a wonderful day. And we'll talk soon, guys. Thank you for joining us. Wow, that sun was surely shining through today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let the Sun Shine In. I truly appreciate you tuning in and being open and enlightened by today's conscious conversation. I invite you to share your love by rating, subscribing, and or leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts. This is the best and only way to let me, Princess Sunshine, know you're enjoying the sun and to keep on shining. Make sure to check out the show notes for links to all of my goodies, including my socials and booking links. Until next time, keep on shining. <laughs>